Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Guys, snap snaps for the homie Paul again, always coming in clutch with the gameplay reviews when I'm busy doing the other cards. This guy is absolutely amazing. But we're taking a look at a card, ladies and gentlemen, that is six foot one with high low work rates, right footed five star skills with a three star weak foot. In regards to player traits, he has the flare trait in regards to his in-game abilities. This is a very weird card, by the way, in regards to chemistry styles and whatnot. He has 83 acceleration with 89 sprint speed. His attacking positioning is at an 89 with 81 finishing, but he does have 99 shot power with 83 long shots, but has 69 volleys. A very, very strange card because... Two chemistry styles that I see being used most on this card is either going to be a hunter chemistry style or an engine chemistry style, right? Now we're testing him out with the engine chemistry style because I wanna see if I wanna aim for a better general experience with this card or if I really wanna have that pace and shooting presence with him. It's gonna really depend on how he performs in game because the fact that he has a 99 shot power based off of all these weird things that he's kinda, he's kinda oriented around Maybe the engine chemistry style could be good enough, but we're gonna obviously take a look at it. It might not be because I feel like his dribbling stats might still affect it a little bit, but we'll see what's up, right? Uh, passing on the car has 84 short passing, 76 for long passing, 76 for curve while having 80 vision and 85 for crossing. Uh, again, kind of weird for the cam position, but with the engine, you know, his passing will be improved by a little bit to kind of make him uh, more usable in those areas. His dribbling on the card, he's got 83 agility with 81 balance, but he does have 78 reactions, 85 ball control, 84 dribbling while being a six foot one player, right? While being six foot one. So we're going to see what those are going to be like in game with 80 composure. He's got 85 heading accuracy with 88 jumping, so he can win the ball in the air if given the opportunity to. He does have 81 stamina with 82 strength and 79 aggression so the fact that he is a six foot one player with a high and average body type the physical stats will definitely help out a lot uh this is 100 percent those types of cards that you have to try out in game because there's no way of being able to judge this card before using him like it's just such a strange card with the chemistry styles and whatnot but where I want to use this card is going to be in the cam position for now I want to see how he kind of plays with that high low work rate of his uh, we're going to have Rashford off to the side there with Trent playing in the CDM position and Belasi will be playing in the middle with the stay forward instruction while the two strikers are on balance instructions. These are on come back and get come back, come back. We'll just have these guys on balanced. We won't even touch that actually. Yeah, just stay forward on the cam and then the two strikers move the way that they want. And then I also want to try out the 4-3-3. Uh, this one's on fast build up here. If I remember correctly, it's actually set up a certain way. So I actually have to pull that up just to make sure. It's press after possession loss, and then it's fast build up like this. Yeah. And then we're going to have him playing in the striker position, but it won't be this 4 3 3. It'll be another 4 3 3. It'll be the false nine variation with him playing through the middle. I want to see how that kind of works with his, his uh, high low work rates. So we'll switch, if we can actually go to the side here, we'll switch him here, switch that there, switch here, and Salah will switch with Rashford, and then Rashford with Wijnaldum. Instructions will be cut inside, get in behind for both the wingers. Boom, boom, boom. Stay back for the fullbacks, and we'll be good to go. So that'll be the defensive one. This will be the ultra-attacking one. We'll start off with the ultra-attacking and work our way from there. Oh, this guy actually has a cool team. It's like almost like a full Brazilian team. Which is cool, it's just Bellerin that's off, but right backs from Brazil. Uh, not a lot of crazy options right now. A few, you could, you could get that Bruno Perez card. But it could be a first owner team, who knows? Okay, let's switch to the 3-5-2 first. And uh, let's see what your dribbling is like. Oh, his dribbling is actually not bad. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was going to be worse. I think the engine chemistry style is definitely going to help out a lot, so... Okay, that's good. I thought it was going to be so sluggish. I was like, oh, it's going to feel like Marquinhos in that CDM role. That dribbling is fine in the CDM position, but as an attacker, not so much. Ooh, the skill moves come off really fast, too. I like it. Oh, he's actually really aggressive. Look at that high-low work rate on him. Beautiful touch. Aw. Oh. Sluggish on that first touch, though. That is noticeable. Oh, 
just trying out his left stick capabilities there to see how responsive it is. It's not crazy responsive, guys, but I did expect it to be worse, to be fair. I think this card could actually make a good striker, to be honest, with those high-low work rates that he has. 100%, dude. Let's see what we can do over here, actually. Oh, you know the vibes. You know the vibes, baby. Oh, man. I wanted to try to flick it backwards there. He does it. He does skill moves really quick, though, guys. That is something to take into consideration, for sure. Oh my god, this is the weirdest offside I have ever seen. I Can I even pass this to the goalie? Oh, I can. Oh my god, that's so strange. My players were pushed up so high because I they, they're like, I, bro, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I like his I like his skill moves. They come off very smoothly, actually. They're not emphasized at all, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he's so aggressive, man. High low work rates is mad noticeable on a card like this. Look at how he's kind of like playing that striker spot right now. He's rotating with Mane. Woo! Do it to them. Little flick. Oh yeah. Give him, give him, give it to them. Give it to them. Use that physical. I like it. Beautiful. Oh, he gets that tackle from behind right there. Ooh, his shield dribble is actually really fast right there. Ball roll, touch, touch. Wait for that little run right there. Ooh, almost got that opportunity. Yeah, guys, I'll tell you this right now, man. That high-low work rate's mad noticeable for a card like this. It would actually be kind of ideal to give him the Hunter for that extra pace boost. I think it would actually be very helpful for him. Just because of that base characteristic of his. I honestly thought his dribbling was going to be so sluggish. Like, it's not crazy ideal, obviously, but I thought it was going to be significantly worse. Flick it. Shoot it. Oh, let's get it, baby. Let's go Velocity with those high-low work rates. I like it, man. Let's get it. Oh, that was sick. I'll make that pass. First time pass backwards. Touch. Go in. Go back inside. Shoot. Let's go Velocity. Let's go, baby. I think, you know what? I think his finishing, guys... I think it'll be perfectly fine at 81. The important thing that this card has, and it's I always mention this in the reviews, is that he has the 99 shot power. If he didn't have the 99 shot power, then that's where it would be a huge problem to have finishing stats the way that he does. But guys, if you want to be able to dribble with him and have fun in that area, you kind of need to give him that engine to make him feel as responsive as possible, you know? Real defensive commitment there. It's just being like stuff like that. You can see that he kind of limits himself a little bit in regards to dribbling, but. See if he makes this run right here, actually. Oh yeah, flick it back. Let's go in. Whoop. See you later. Ball roll touch. Nice. Go back in. Yes. Oh, I wanted to do the scoop turn so bad. No way he did the regular fake shot. I wanted to do the scoop turn on the inside right there, but again, that like body type and emphasis that he has, it's always going to be there for sure. Ooh, gotta let that go a little bit. Wanted to see if Belasi would actually go into the middle. You could see that because I have the cut inside getting behind there, Belasi actually adjusted his run. Oh! Oh, I don't know what's happening. I actually passed the ball downwards and it didn't register, unfortunately, because Belasi was making a great run right there, but his attacking AI was really cool right there, like following the instructions really well. So Salah's doing it right now, so Balas is going to stick to the middle here. Little skill move. Ooh. Touch. Oh, man. I want to get that angle there in the middle. Oh, my God. Am I actually going to score that? Yeah, went in the back of the net. <laughs> oh, we'll definitely take that. 
Wijnaldum. Salah. Oh, chip it. Yes, Pelosi. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Use those high-low work rates. I like it. First time, first time. Oh, why Naldum? The pass got to be better there, my G. No. You can't let Bolasi down like that. That was such a good run, too. Oh, I'll do it to them, Bolasi. Oh, I didn't register. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I didn't register. Well, it did register. It just didn't come off really nicely. Whoop. Scoop. Oh, I try to get that scoop off. Oh man, if this game actually registered for me to control the ball right there, the plays that was going to go down. His attacking AI and uh, playing by himself up top in the striker position, it's not bad. It's not special by any means, but the thing you notice the most is definitely that high-low work rate. He moves across the pitch really quickly um, because of that specifically. So that is probably the most um, relevant thing about this card so far. Little flick, going back. Oh. His dribbling is rough though, guys. Like regardless of you giving him an engine chemistry style or not, it's always gonna feel rough because of the base stats that he has and whatnot. And the stuff is just not registering right now. It's very strange. There we go. Touch. Go back on the inside. Oh, am I still gonna get it? Yeah, even when I'm trying to win the ball back, you can kind of tell that he has that like body emphasis on the ball. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Yannick Bolasi card. Uh, you use them for fun in your team, obviously. The high-low work rates that this card has is incredibly noticeable. This guy is super, super aggressive on the attack. Um, so for me personally, with this card, it is a pick-your-poison situation with chemistry styles, right? Because if you give him a Hunter chemistry style, you know, the dribbling on the card will feel a little bit odd. If you want to have some fun with his five-star skills, it will be a little bit lackluster because he's not the most responsive, right? However, if you give him the engine chemistry style, you will be boosting it a little bit just to make him feel more usable in-game. But remember that that base characteristic of his for dribbling is still not going to be improved by that much, right? So with this card, Again, it is definitely a pick your poison situation in regards to chemistry styles you give him. Base characteristic wise, though, yes, sluggish dribbling from time to time, obviously, but the five star skills come off really fast. His attacking AI movement in the striker position by himself was great, as well as in the cam position, because cam position, he's just bulleting forward, right? Which is always nice to have. It, you know, more options inside the 18 yard box is never a bad thing, obviously, but. It's definitely a pretty cool gameplay objective card. Again, not meta-oriented, but still really enjoy using this card. The thing that, that disappoints me a little bit, right, is if you guys remember this absolute specimen, I think from last year or two years ago, I think this is last year's card. Man, this card right here was like the saving grace for me in the game, man. You guys remember the memes of the sniper chemistry style, you know, plus 15 for finishing. Look at those dribbling stats, my dude. If the freeze card was anything like this from base card stats and you gave him a chemistry style to make this his card with pace like this, dude, he had medium low back then, but now he's a high low worker to player. But let me tell you guys, man, I think the card would have been so freaking cool. So I feel like they missed the ball a little bit with that, but still a really fun card to use if you guys are going to be grinding him out for the gameplay objective as a Premier League player playing in that cam position with the five star skills. So hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.